Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Tuesday in Red Dead Online, and welcome back to the August event here for the game. Today on the show, we will be going over all of the observable changes for this monthly event, obvious bonuses, the discounts, free rewards, and more for the month of August. So if you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So I guess starting off, we will get the bad news out of the way first. Unfortunately, we do not have any new telegrams. I don't have any new telegram letters in my satchel to open and read. And since they haven't gotten released this morning with the tunables update for the August event, it would not appear that we're going to be getting them at all for the month of August. I guess it's possible that Rockstar can unlock them during a different week here during this monthly event, but that would just be kind of strange and might as well release them with everything else for the month. But I guess for right now, we just don't have them yet. Moving on to the bonuses for the month of August. The collector role is offering double money on all collection set sales. We finally got a double money collector event during these monthly events here in game. Obviously, we've gotten double money collector events before for the weekly updates, but never since one of these monthly updates started coming around in December, starting December 21, I should say. And, you know, there may be more bonuses included with the monthly event for August, but we'll officially find out all the event information with the Newswire today. I'll update you guys on that. Typically in the morning of the update, we can check out all of the applied discounts, but most of the time, free the limited time free items, rewards, and some of the game bonuses like Prime Gaming rewards come a little bit later in the day at the start of these event months. But one of the observable ones is, of course, the collector roll with double money. So I would love to know down in the comments what you guys think about that, but it definitely seems like too little too late for many as, you know, more money you can earn, but nothing to spend it on. Since the collector roll is double money, I also wouldn't be surprised if the collector roll has a gold bar discount applied, where it's not going to cost a full 15 gold bars in total. total. Maybe it'll be 30% off or 33% off and be around 10 gold bars. Moving on, the quick join series, or basically the quick join menu, is offering triple money on featured series game modes this month. Rockstar is going to go and talk about the featured series rewards for each one of these weeks here during this monthly event. If you visit Harriet's shop, you will find 40% off the sedative varmint rifle cartridges. And then moving on over to Gus's location, you'll find the same thing. 50% off sedative varmint rifle cartridges, as well as 50% off nitro express ammunition. Next up, moving on over to the fence, we have discounts on all dynamite, fire bottles, the hatchet, the tomahawk, the hunter hatchet, and the ancient tomahawk. That almost seems to be a discount remaining from July's event here in game. The weekly collection is the Gentleman's Effects, which is the best weekly collection that I've ever seen offered in this game. It features the Bosk Emerald Earring, the London Dry Gin Collectible, and the 1794 Silver Dollar, and you could sell all these for a value of $190. Now I'd imagine that these are double money because these are a weekly collection and they are a collection set. So they would be double money, I guess, typically, then they would normally be $95 if you just sold it regularly. But moving on to Madame Nazar, we have 30% off the refined binoculars and 35% off the metal detector. Both of these are collector roll items. I would recommend you just get the metal detector. I bought the refined binoculars finally today just to use them, but honestly, I never used them in game. That's why I held off on getting them. I also heard about glitches with the normal binoculars, so I never wanted to get the refined in case that's what caused them to glitch out. But now I may be at risk of that glitch because I just bought them today because I figured, eh, why not? It's been literally years since the collector roll came out and I never bought those equipment. So moving on over to the stable, we have 30% off all Mustangs, which includes the Wild Bay, the Grulo Dunn, the Tiger Striped Bay, the Buckskin, the Black Overo, the Chestnut Tovero, and the Red Dun Overo, as well as 35% off the Collector Saddlebag, because of course the Collector Roll is on discount and on bonus this month. The Mustang is a really good horse here. It runs really fast. It's got amazing acceleration, handling, all that. If you get any of the newer Mustangs that came out with the December 2020 Bounty Hunter Expansion DLC update, and you get those new ones like the Red Dun, the Chestnut Tovero, the Black Overo, as well as the Buckskin, those three Mustangs at level four bonding have a full health and stamina ring. So your horse will be super overpowered. Those Mustangs are super worth the buy. There's no level unlock with those. So you could be level one and buy them if you had the cash. And then of course, you know, I'm surprised we don't have the Criollo horse on discount considering that is the collector role horse. But over the past couple event months when we've had bonuses for specific roles, for some reason, those horses with those roles haven't been getting discounted. I'm not sure why Rockstar is switching it up like that, but nonetheless, they are. Moving on to the gunsmith. We have 30% off the Navy revolver, 40% off the Springfield rifle, 
40% off the bolt action rifle and 50% off all rifle cartridges, which of course include regular, high velocity, express, varmint, and nitro express ammo. Moving on to the general store, you probably guessed it, 30% off all collector roll outfits, which include the Wentworth, the Wallingford, the Gladewater, and the London Dairy outfits for the collector roll. Now, we have a free custom outfit this week, so we're going to talk about all the clothing. I don't have the complete list of the colors of each item because some of them I purchased, and so the free icon doesn't pop up. But if you visit each of these sections in the catalog, you can get each one of these items for free. And it is a funeral outfit for Red Dead Online. Rockstar is a couple weeks late, missing the funeral event that played hosted in the middle of July of 2022 but as of right now the free funeral I'm just gonna call it that the free funeral outfit here in Red Dead Online consists of a free stalker hat the free black worsted coat the free everyday shirt free paisley vest free black pinstripe saddle work pants free dress shoes a free black puff tie and free cross back suspenders we do not have any limited stock clothing no new limited stock clothing or returning limited stock clothing this is now the second event month in a row where we just haven't featured any of that stuff here in game i'm not sure why rockstar is doing away with that for one i just i would argue they should unlock it all for players to purchase so we can make whatever outfit we want whenever we want but even if they're not going to do that they should start cycling in like 10 items of limited stock clothing a month during these monthly events because now we have four week events instead of one week events and there's like three 300 pieces of limited stock clothing so definitely add it back to the store rockstar please with all that said though that's really all we have time to talk about today those were all the discounts bonuses free items rewards and more again we're gonna have the newswire posted later today and i'll update you guys on all the official changes that we get in case there's anything we missed here in this video you know the collector roll is finally double money but i bet almost nobody cares about this unless you just started playing the game in which case highly recommend you use the gene Ropke god map to find all the collectible locations here in red that online i will also link that down in the description because it's just such a good map here in game it shows you the locations of every single collectible updated in real time every single day and you will not be disappointed when you use that map to farm all the non-diggable items get one of those sets every single day so with that said hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV and all of my social media links, including my Discord, can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.